We live. Aloha. Aloha, Kako. Hello, and welcome to Beginner Hula. We're doing week two of Ikona today. Um, let's see. What's our normal things? Oh, okay. We'll just jump right into it to our warm-up and stretch. But first of all, don't forget, listen to your body. Do what feels healthy for you. Modify things as you need to. And if you need to, uh, if you need suggestions on how to do that, let me know, please. Um, make sure you're paying attention to anything that feels weird or feels like unhealthy for you. You're dancing um, by yourself at home, and so you're it's you're dancing at your own risk. Nobody's there to be like, you know, tuck your tailbone or uh, bend at the knees or I don't know whatever else I I say that to help help you try and like protect your knees or protect your back whatever it is so please be careful and drink water and stretch and all that good stuff um what else I think that's it we can jump right in um if you want we love offering these classes for you all uh for free through the LA Belly Dance Academy if you have a few bucks and you want to donate to them that would be awesome they're a really great small business in Los Angeles that's building has built this really really healthy wonderful awesome dance community for the um the people who take the classes there and the people who are associated with that studio I taught there when I was a teacher in Los Angeles before I moved here to New Zealand and I absolutely loved it. It is just wonderful. So, and check out the other classes that are available on this channel. Um, we're going to be working on week two of Econa today. We're going to review the first verse really quickly, just step through it. And then we'll do, we'll break down the second verse. Um, if you missed the first verse, don't worry about it. Go back later and review that video from last week. And you can have that breakdown there. So don't worry um, if you haven't seen that yet, because we'll just walk through it really quickly, but you can just follow along and then we'll focus on, uh, on the uh, second verse today. And then we're also gonna talk about, again, it's history week here in our hula classes. We went over um, the Battle of Moku Ohai uh, in our intermediate class earlier this week. And today we're gonna be talking about another really important battle that happened here near Kona. So let's start with our regular warm up and stretch. Everybody up and we're gonna start with our regular Remember, big ummies, your feet are really wide apart for this. And then when I bring my feet in, they're a little less than shoulder width apart. So we don't want them together like that. Just nice and simple, feet super straight. But follow my direction and my tempo. Listen for when I call switch because I'm switching directions. Look, is there anything weird? No. No. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can see the chat today. So if you have any questions, you can chat them there and I'll see it. Yay, here we go. All right, ready? We'll start back left. Here we go. Four counts. Back one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back, back, front, front. One, two. And let's switch directions. Other way. Back one, two, three, four. Big circles. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four, one, two, hold here, let's go double time, other way, one, two, back, front, big circles, keep your upper body still, use your knees, back, front, back, front, and let's switch, and back, front, one, two, one, two, one, two, keep going, Bend your knees, sit low, and switch. One, two, one, two, back, front, switch. Two, as your um, legs are starting to warm up, try and bend a little bit lower. Switch. One, two, one, two, one, two, and switch. One, two, one, two. And let's bring the feet in a little less than shoulder width apart. Back one, two, one, two. Good job. Keep that tempo. Hold your shoulders still. Try not to rock around like this. And switch. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good job. Keep going. And switch. We're gonna go four here, then we're gonna pull it around. We're gonna step around. Three and four. Pull it, 
left. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's do that other side. Switch. Stay here for four, two, three, four. And we'll leave. Step one, two, three. Good. Switch. Let's do two up, two down. One, two, and drop. One, two, up. Drop and switch. One, two, drop. One, two, up. One, two, drop. One, two. Let's do this again. Switch. One, two, drop. Still low. Keep your feet flat. Up. Two, drop. One. And switch. One, two, drop. One, two, up. And drop. Good. Move your shoulders back a little bit. Let's stretch. Now that we're a little bit warmed up. Great job. Up on your toes. Reach up. Up. Up, up. Good job. Now up and down into squats. Ready? Reach up, down. Up, down. And begins again. Reach up, hold, hold, hold. Up on your toes. And down, hold here. Up and over to the left, reach, Hold here. And let's reach up the so flat back, reach forward into the waist. And side to side, reach. And all the way down. Yeah. Okay, let's go over to one side. Yeah. And let's turn this way. We're going to run down. And let's drop this back ankle back here. Drop that heel down to the floor so you can stretch your calf all the way through your heel. And hands here. Reach forward. And I'm going to lunge down. You go as far as you want to go. Okay, make sure it's good and strong. Good, hands up. And down. And turn. Balance here. Start here. Brando growling. He wants to come in. Baby, this. Baby, this. Baby, this. Brando up. And let's push up back to center. And over to the side. And let's turn the feet this way. And lunge. On the east side. Mm -hmm. 
drill and our hands drill. Remember, we do this every single class because our ha'alava forms the basis of our hula, forms the foundation for all these different moves that we do. So remember, what I want you to, what I want to focus on today in regards to the arms and the hands is your elbows. So anybody who's taken my class, you know that I am like psycho about elbows because with the positioning of your elbows, you really can communicate um it like an energy or a lack of energy with just the slightest change right if i'm dancing and my elbows are here it's like okay great you might not even notice like wow she's got nice elbows maybe you will i would but maybe you won't most people probably wouldn't but if the elbows are down then it's like oh it's kind of not as effective and i'm not sure why right oh my gosh brando he is so growling today. So when your elbows are here, I want you to mark your elbows off of your shoulder. So looking here, you should be able to look down your shoulder and see that your elbows and your fingertips are in line with your shoulder all the way down. Same thing when you look this way, you look down here and this elbow here is in line with your shoulder on this side, right? I don't want it up too high. Sometimes I see, sometimes I, I kind of do this a little bit. Um, and I don't realize I'm doing it. So I want to make sure that I, I'm not like passing that on to you. So make sure you're pulling your shoulder blades down and put as much space between your shoulders and your ears as you can. And we're just here, but pull back like this. We don't want them forward here like that. Um, and then the, the sneaky thing is when we treat, when we change sides, your elbow that's bent tends to do some funny stuff. So especially since usually when we're here, we're doing a kohalo or something this way, we're looking at our fingertips of our outstretched hand. When we switch, what happens a lot is this elbow, because we're not looking at it, it thinks that we don't know, suddenly it's pushed forward, right? If you look to the side, this is what that elbow is doing instead of being back here like this. So what I want to make sure you're doing is when we switch from side to side, that you're leaving your elbow where it is. It's not scooting up like that. So make sure you're pulling your elbows back, okay? And make sure that you're keeping them nice and high. When we're here, you're not here like this. And sometimes this, your shoulders will get sore. That's good, okay? We want sore muscles, so we build those muscles up bigger and you can hold, your, hold them here nice and tall. So that when you take a workshop and you've got your arms holding here for two, three, four hours, at the end of the workshop, when you video yourself dancing this, your elbows still look like this and not like this because they're exhausted. So we want to build up those hula shoulders too. All right, so let's do it. We're doing our ha'alava or sway. Mirror me. Match my timing. Listen to the music. Keep your fingers closed, please. Here we go. All right, so we're here at our ha'a. Let's bend. And ha'alava. Sway right. Left, mirror me, right, left. Make sure your upper body is not swaying along like this. Hold it still in the middle, it's just your hips. All right, hands out, and all I'm doing is I'm stretching, relaxing. Stretch, relax. 
Okay, so I don't want you to stop, even though I'm going to go up to the computer. Keep this timing going. Do exactly what you're doing right now. Keep it going. Keep going. Right and left. Keep going. Right and left. Check in with your hands. Stretching. Relaxing. Stretching. Relaxing. Keep going. Push. Right and left. Right. Left. Right. Don't overcomplicate your hands. Don't curl your fingers in like this. All I want is stretching, relaxing down. Stretching, relaxing down. Focusing on this part of your hand. Stretch, relax. Stretch, relax. Stretch, relax. Keep going. And right, left. Right, left. Right, left. All right, we're gonna go in. We're gonna keep your hot level going. Ready? Bring the hands in, in, out, up, down. It's the same movement. I stretch the hands, relax the hands. Stretch, relax. Stretch, relax. Good. Keep these elbows high when you bring them in. Keep going. Push. Feel the stretch on each side. Right, left. Keep going. Push right, left, right, left. My hands are stretching in, relaxing out, stretching up, relaxing down. Keep your fingers closed so we're not here. We don't want to be here like this. Down. In. Out. Up. Down. See my elbows? Right. Left. Right. Left. Elbows stay up. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. You're almost done. Keep going. You go push right, left, right, left, stretch, relax, stretch, relax, stretch, relax. Good. Keep going. Push. Keep going. Check in with your fingertips. Make sure you're bending in your knees. That's where your range of motion comes from. Challenge yourself, drop into this. Stretch, relax, stretch, relax. Almost done, keep it up, keep the elbows up. You are lava. What's that, you are? You means go forward. What am I doing? All good, okay, good job. Let's run through some of our basics, okay? We're going to, let's see, you know, let's go ahead and do we're just going to do some kaholo basics, which we did last week. So kaholo and kahala, don't forget your kaholo is two steps to the right, two steps to the left, and your kahala is a point. All right, so we're going to just run through these to keep our warm-up going, and then we'll focus on the move that we're going to really break down today. So here we go. Remember, stay low. That's where your range of motion comes from here. And here we go. I have kaholo. So listen to the words I'm saying. This is your kaholo. Two to the right, two to the left. Two down. And hands up, look, and look. Keep going, push. Good job. Ready, let's go, Hela. Point. Right. Left. Swing out. Swing out. Feel a gentle stretch on each side. We want to swing out because we don't want this. We want to push the hips out. Right. Keep going. Stay low. Stay low. Good job. Let's add the hands. Here we go. Match the hands. There you go. Right. You going? Ready to switch back 
Nice and cool. Keep your hands up. Look. Good. Stay low. Make sure you're bending your knees. Good job. Let's change the hands. I'm going to forward side. Forward side. Keep going, push. Almost done. Stay low, push. Good job. Now that we're a little bit warmed up, let's talk about the move that we're doing today. We're doing a move. It's just a side cobolo. So we've broken this down before, but again, wanted to go back to basics in case there are new people joining us for this beginner course for Ikona who had not learned um, Wahine Ilikea. So our side cobolo is one of those moves that can be really frustrating because you might not be on the correct foot and you don't know why. And so I want to drill that and break it down so that you, in class, usually I can see if you're doing something and landing on the wrong foot, I can see it and I can fix it. But again, since I can't see you, we can't do that. So um, recycle below. There's two different ways of thinking about it, depending on how your brain works. One of them is by thinking about what foot you should be on. It's the exact same footing as your regular koholo. So you're going right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap. So this is your regular koholo, right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap. Now your side koholo is the same thing, but you're turning to the side. So <clears throat> if I turn to the side like this, what I'm doing here is I turn the side and I go right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap, right, left, right, tap, step, 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 tap, step, 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 tap, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's how you break it down if you're thinking about it in terms of your feet and what foot you should be on. The common thing to forget to do in this is to do that tap. So when you turn to the side, you're going step, step, step. Make sure you tap here because if you step right away, then you're gonna be you're gonna be stepping early and you're gonna be on the wrong foot and you're gonna not be sure why, especially when we're doing it with music and you don't necessarily have time to think of this. This is one of those moves that once you have it, you have it. So if you don't have it yet, don't worry, it's coming, okay? So if that's your, the kind of thing that makes sense for your brain in terms of telling yourself right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap, or counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then do it that way. Again, right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap. If that is not making sense to you, let me tell you another way to think about it, which might be more helpful for the way your mind might be working. And that is to think of it in terms of your hips swaying to the back wall. Okay, so I've got my back wall behind me. When I turn to the side, I'm pushing my hips toward the back wall. Step, step, push to the back wall. Step, step, push back. Step, step push to the back wall. Okay, again, back wall and back. All right. I don't know why, but usually when I'm teaching class and I'm teaching this move, some people get it the first way and some people get it the second way. I think it's just depending on how your brain sort of learns and processes things better. Okay, so whatever works for you. But let's break down a couple other little elements of it from a technique perspective that I want to make sure you are hitting. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, I thought, it was, I thought it was something that I was going to say in there and then I was like, it completely went out of my brain. Anyway, 
So starting with your feet, we want to line up our feet, right? Our feet, if you look at them, they're traveling in a straight line. So my feet are here like this. Then when I turn to the side to do my side kaholo, they, my feet are lining up here, okay? So I'm here and then I step. And when I come around here, again, I'm coming into a line with my other foot. So my feet are lining up and lining up. See that straight line here? Line up the feet and line up the feet. What happens a lot is we'll end up going, we step too far back. So see how my feet are not in line anymore? And stepping back. When you're dancing in a group, lining up the feet is really important because you're all gonna look in sync if you do it. If some people are stepping back here and other people are stepping here or whatever, or up here like this, then your feet are not gonna be in line. So you're here, okay? So again, think about your feet. Five, six, seven, go. Right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap, right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, sway back, two, three, sway back, two, three, sway back, two, three, and one more, back, and lava. Good, okay? Next thing I wanna talk about is the bend in your knees. So a lot of times when you see this, when you see people dancing with this side kaholo, you see them put a little bend in the knees when they step back here, like this. That is a squat down. That is not a leaning back. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Isn't it, it's so crazy how, um, it's so funny how what you know sometimes you might not understand your brain doesn't process something and then if you just tell yourself a different story then suddenly your brain is like oh i know how to do that it's so funny how that can work sometimes um okay so we want to make sure when we're stepping to the side and as i'm dropping down again we've talked about this before where our posture is lining up our shoulders our hips and our ankles. And that's true even when I'm squatting down like this. So when I'm turning to the side, I'm going here, three and down, and down. The important thing for this is that you don't feel like you have to take too big of a step back. When you sway back, I don't want you to feel like your feet have to go like, like if I turn to the side and do it, Watch how small the step I take here, here, right? I don't need to go here like this. Boom, okay? Just a small step, small step, small. Squat down and sway back, sway back. Good. All right, so that is, those are two things. First of all, lining up your feet. Second of all, dropping down with that first step on each side. The third thing is the hip sway. So I want you to feel in your body what it feels like when you're doing this move. Because what I want you to do is again, if I turn to the side and do it, so this is my front, that's the back. When I turn to the side, my hips are going back here, swaying back like that, right? Swaying back, sway. What can happen a lot if we're not careful is this becomes a lean, where we go like this. Lean back, lean back, back, okay? What's happening is my shoulders are going over this back foot here. Instead of my shoulders staying neutral, centered, and my hips pushing back here, here. Okay, so line up the feet. Line up the feet. Don't take too big of a step, but drop down and 
Make sure you're swaying the hips, not leaning back with your shoulders. Those are three really important things that I want you to check in with yourself that you're doing. Those are three things, again, that if you were in class with me, I would be able to see them and can correct them right away. But since I'm not there with you, I need you to correct them for yourself. So I need you to feel, check yourself, video, whatever you want to do to line up your feet. Because again, once you teach your feet where to stand, where to be, where their home base is, to stay in line when you're doing the side kohalo, they're gonna do it and you don't have to think about it. But first you have to teach your feet to stay there. So make sure that you're doing these things. Again, line up your feet, drop down on that first step without taking too big of a step. And what was the third one? Oh yeah, don't lean, push the hips. Push the hips, keeping the shoulders centered. All right? so. Careful with those three things. And those are things that, again, if you're dancing in a group, you're going to automatically all look more, um, more in sync with each other if you really get specific here. And also if you're doing something like taking a workshop with another kumuhula, if you've practiced and drilled this particular, these kinds of things for your technique, then when they say, okay, then you do uh, kumuhula to the side and to the right and then to the left, and then just a regular kaholo, then right away, you're already going to have that like solid technique know exactly what they're saying. And it's gonna look really nice without them having to really get into it with you. So make sure you're lining up your feet, make sure that you're dropping down on that first step and make sure that you are keeping your shoulders centered and pushing the hips back and not leaning with your shoulders. All right, so let's practice those. Um, Again, if you feel like your feet get confused or your feet like suddenly you're on the wrong foot, then just stop for a minute and reset. Get it back in your mind, whether you're thinking right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap, or you're thinking sway back, two, three, sway back, two, three, whatever you're thinking, get that back in your mind and then go for it. So let's try this with a song and we're going to try it in a couple different tempos. Just stay with it and get that ingrained in your body. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Stay low, stay low. I hope. We're gonna start off slow. So we're going half time. Start with your right foot and go. Right, two, three, and left. Right, left. Tap, right, left, right, left, right, left, tap, good, left, right, left, line up those feet, drop down, two, three, drop down, sway back, sway, okay, let's finish this one, let's go double time, ready? And right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, drop down, drop, drop down, sway back, sway. Keep going, push, drop down, drop. Keep your back straight, don't lean, careful not to do this, right? Squat down. Can you go lower? Try. Keep going. Push. Let's go. Stay with it. Right, left, right, tap, left, right, left. Good job. Keep going. Okay. Let's go back half time. Right, left, right. Tap, left, right, left, tap, right, left, right. Keep your feet straight, line up your feet. Right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap, right. We finish this, so we're back to double time. Ready? Here we go. Go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, tap. Sway back. 
sway back, two, three, sway back, sway back, two, three. Listen to the level change. I mean the um, tempo change. Ready? Right, left, right. Try to and down. Keep going, keep going. Can we add the hands. Here we go. We're just gonna open. Open. Switch. Focus on your hands. Okay, so I want you to watch your hands for this. Eyes and hands. Then we're gonna switch. Ready? We're gonna switch. So I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be just here, and I'm gonna keep my face looking front. So let's do four on each side. So open the hands. Watch the hands look. Two, three, four. Now switch the hands. We're here. Now look forward. Forward. Lower, drop down. Keep those feet lined up. Other way. Ready? Watch the hand. Look. Good job. Okay. Other way. Now look forward. Look. Good. Stay tall. Drop down. Other side. Ready? Look. Watch the hands. Open. And other way. Look. Keep the chin up. Space between your shoulders and your ears. And open. Watch. Smile. One more. Then we lava. Good job. Roll your shoulders. Good, I hope you're getting the hang of that. Okay, grab some water, let's talk about our song. Settle in for story time. Okay, so we're gonna talk about, again, we talked about in a class two days ago, um, which was Tuesday if you're in New Zealand, Monday if you're in the United States. Um, we talked about the Battle of Moku Ohai, right? Which was took place above Ka, which is the place um, that we're dancing about in that class. Well, we're going to talk about a, another battle, another incredibly important battle that was very formative for Hawaiian history that took place pretty close to that spot. Where's my oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I have my little map. Oops. <clears throat> okay, so let me pull up my notes here so I can stay on track. All right, so today we're talking about the Battle of Kuomo'o. If you know about the Battle of Kuomo'o, you're like, oh, this is a big one, right? So the Battle of Kuomo'o happened in 1819. And um, it didn't take place in Kona proper, but it took place in the district of Kona, um, in the in, nor in North Kona. So I showed you this the other day. This is my map with very crudely drawn districts here. And you can see there's South Kona here and then North Kona right here. And then the town of Kailua Kona is right here, right there. And then if you go down a little bit, you see where it says Honauna. Right above Honauna, you see where it says Captain Cook. There's that little hook there. And um, that's Kalakikua Bay. So if you go up just a little bit, this is about, Battle Kuma o took place about like, uh, like almost eight miles south of Kona. So it's still right, it's still really close. Like you just drive down, Ali'i Drive, and boom, there you are. 
All right, so let's set the stage. And this ties into some other things that we've talked about in the past in this class. And so I don't wanna get too much into those subjects because we'll be here all day. Um, but one of those is um, in the class when we talked about Ka'ahumanu and breaking the kapu system, it ties into that. Well, it is that. And um, also the life of Kamehameha, which we talked about the other day. So going back to, um, to Kamehameha, who was Kamehameha the first, is the he was the first ruler that united all of the main Hawaiian islands under one rule, right? So all of the main Hawaiian islands that we think of now, they came under one rule under Kamehameha for the first time, and they stayed that way. So he passed away in 1819, right? Um, and in the meantime, he had named his son Liho Liho as his heir. Um, but just like we talked about again, how we talked about um, colonial Pu'u uh, naming Kamehameha, giving him possession of the war god Kuka'irimoku, um, while he had his uh, his his son Kivala'o take uh, rule over the entire Big Island. Um, just in that in the way that that rule was split, Kamehameha also splits the rule. So he gives um, regular like state rule rule over all the islands to his son, Liho Liho. Um, and then he gives uh, possession of this war god, protection of this war god, the responsibilities um, go to his, I think it was his nephew, Kekuo Kulini, who was, um, I think it was Kamehameha's nephew. It was either his nephew or his cousin, but I can't remember, sorry. Um, it might've been his nephew, which would make him Liho Liho's cousin, which would make sense. Um, either way, Kekuo Kulani has a war god, Kukaini Moku, Liho Liho is now ruler of the of all the islands of Hawaii, right? Well, guess who else is in the mix? In the mix, Kaohumanu, who names herself Kuhina Nui, Queen Regent, right? She was not Liho Liho's mother, but she was uh, one of Kamehameha's wives and a very close advisor of his. And uh, she names herself of this title, and she says to him, "Guess what, Liho Liho? We're gonna rule together, and you're gonna like it." And Liho Liho is like. Okay, he was like 22 at the time. So he was like a young, a young kid. He had been groomed since he was little um, to, to be the successor for Kamehameha, but it still sounds, he was really impressionable, especially when you're talking about, I mean, who wouldn't be impressionable around Kaohumanu? Come on. So um, at the time, the islands were ruled under the Kapu system. The Kapu system was like a rule of, laws and regulations that were really provided like the underpinnings of um of like all of hawaiian society it really defined who what you were doing and when and what you're allowed to do and a lot of times the consequences of breaking any of the couple could be really it was it was pretty could be pretty brutal and severe so you didn't want to you didn't want to do that um and then one of these like sets of laws uh was was i kapu which is basically rules governing who can eat what, when, and with whom. Like women and men could not eat together. Women could not eat in certain things. Um, you know, it just really governed all of that stuff. And uh, Ka'ahumanu and all of these other kind of high power, mainly women, wanted to break the aikapu. They did not want to live under those rules anymore. Again, we talked about this and the different possible motivations for wanting to break this system um, in another class. So I don't want to go into it because again, all day. I could do this all day. Um, so always at the whenever an ali'i passes away, an ali'i is a very high ranking person. When an ali'i passes away, I couple would be suspended for a while so that everybody could like mourn together. So men and women could mourn and eat and, you know, all that stuff and mourn the ali'i. And then at a certain point, the ruling ali'i would then reinstate the I couple. So that's the normal protocol. That's normally what would happen. But um, Kahumanu was like, don't, don't reinstate it. Don't reinstate it. We don't, we want to just get rid of this. Um, and um, let me make sure. 
Yeah. And it was all it was all the high powered women were like, you know, backing her, including his mother, Kyo Pulani, who was Kyo Pulani was probably like the most high ranking in terms of her lineage. She was probably the most high ranking of all of the women. And so she it's all of these these most important women in his life who have raised him and who have been these major figures, not just of raising him, but also being leadership for the islands themselves all coming to him and saying, dude, let's not do this anymore. And so he's really conflicted because he's got this, all this influence in his ear and he's not really sure what to do. Again, the dude's like 22 years old. I mean, what 22 year old is going to like know exactly what to do and all the consequences of what they're going to do. So they're all saying this. Um, but then you have Kekuo Kalani, who it's his, it's his whole job to protect the Kapu system. That is his whole that, that is what he has been entrusted with by Kamehameha. And so for Kekuo Kalani, he's like, no, you can't do, you can't do this. No, no, we got to keep this system intact. This is what we've been, this is what we've always done. And, you know, you don't know what the consequences will be. Again, from a religious standpoint, if you think about it, and if your beliefs are all tied to upholding the system and doing all these things properly, then the idea of turning that on its head, you're going to worry about those consequences. So Kekuo Kalani is like, no, 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 you can't, you can't overturn this. We have to keep this intact. Like he's very devout following this system. Obviously it's his whole job. Um, and so he is, takes, a takes a stand. Kekuo Oklan is like, absolutely not. I can't allow this to happen. And he starts assembling forces um, to, to support him. And Liho Liho is like um, kind of, they, but they break it. They do. They have. They end up having like dinner together. Him and his and Kahumanu and his mother and everybody. They all have, and it's kind of the officially. It marks kind of like the breaking of this kapu system. But Kekuo Kalani can't. Doesn't think that this can stand, and so he and all his forces end up going to the Big Island, and um, and Liho Liho ends up sending his prime minister, Kalani Moku, and all of those forces to meet them. And they try talking it out for a little while, but they can't come to like an agreement. And then it ends up a big war ends up breaking out. And this is the battle of Kuomo'o. And it happened at the Leke Leke grounds, which is again, it's like, 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 eight miles or so south of Kona. Um, and you can't really access these grounds, although you can see them, but you can't go walk around on them. Um, it's a really sacred site now. But they end up with this huge battle and Liho Liho's men have all these, um, not men, you know, that's a, that I got to watch that because guess what? It was not just men. It was, um, this was not a very patriarchal society. This was, um, even though there were the, these kind of these laws governing men and women differently and all that stuff, you still had women warriors, obviously women in the highest levels of government. And um, so everybody's meeting on these battlegrounds and fighting together. But Liho Liho's forces had like much more modern weaponry and equipment. And, um, you know, and then Kekuo Kalani and his men and his Men, there I go again. Oh my gosh, it's the patriarchy speaking through me. No, his people, his troops, they put up a really good fight. They end up getting, um, it's very dramatic. They end up getting all trapped on this big cliff and going over the cliff. And it's, there's like a painting that's really kind of sad to see. And Kekuo Kalani dies. And then also his wife, Manono, who was fighting alongside him, who was this incredible figure in, uh, in Hawaiian history. Um, she was also fighting right alongside him right up to the end. And it's said that her last uh, words were Malama Koloha, was that she was fighting and kept saying Malama Koloha, Malama Koloha. And uh, which means basically keep your aloha, keep your love right, which is very meaningful. Again, when we talk about the importance of knowing your history and remembering it, 
these th this is the kinds of things that you have to keep in mind on a day-to-day -day basis, especially at times right now when we're all really divided and we're all really like fighting these battles of ideology right now. This is just as applicable. We can look to the past and see what lessons we learned from this. And we can think about Manono telling us, Malama Koloha, think about that. Take Keep your aloha, keep your aloha. Remember that at the end of the day, we're all still fighting to have like a, a, we all still need to care for each other at the end of the day, that that is the most important thing. Even though we're fighting right now, we have to remember that we have to take care of each other. So be inspired by that, malama koloha. Also, there's this really, really incredible um, chant, Oli and Hula that is, uh, that is uh, Ema Nono and it is, it's incredible and really powerful and really inspiring. So I'm going to post a video of that in the pool Greg's um, halal dance this at Mary Monarch. I can't remember what year, but there's a YouTube video of it and it's incredible. So if you need some inspiration for your day, Oh, thanks Vivian. Um, if you need some inspiration for your day, I'm going to post this in the Facebook group and I want you to watch this video because it is awesome. It's, you will be so in inspired. So yes, Malama Koloha, everybody. Um, okay, so that is that is what um, really broke the kapu system. It basically kind of demolished all of these this whole system of regulations in the Hawaiian Islands that was governing the things that people were doing each day, and it really sort of plunged um, the islands into a lot of uncertainty because you know if if everything that you believe is based on like a specific set of circumstances, and then those kind of get wiped out for you, then it's sort of like people need something to kind of hang on to. So um, there were a lot of really dramatic consequences. And then like three months later, Christian missionaries arrived in the islands and people were really needing something to like believe in again. And so they found these people that, that, that had, that were basically had this big void in their lives and it was, they were able to, um, to really get a, get a foothold that way. So had major consequences in all aspects of Hawaiian life. All right. On that note, let's dance Ikona. We're going to, um, Again, you can find the lyrics in that Google Drive um, folder. Uh, so we're going to really quickly, let's just walk through. I'm going to try to start teaching um, this way because I just think it's, it's easier for me and I think it might be easier for you. Um, I'll mirror you when I'm facing you, but I'll try to dance mostly like this. So just walking through our first verse, remember we're saying aia i kona, that's our first kahea. So everybody say aia i kona. I'm gonna do it again, now call it out. Repeat after me. Aia i kona, aia i kona. Good, right? Good. All right, so you wanna call that out. So we're here and once the music starts, we're going to kaholo. So kaholo forward. Side, forward, aya i kona, koholo, sweep the arm all the way around, and then turn over, open, now we do ummies, our big circles, roll, for our cloud banks, and then into the waves, koholo, i kala'i, and the peace, and the calm, open, now we're pulling in, right, to the shoulder, left, to the shoulder, then we kahela, right, left. Kaholo, right, and left. And then we repeat. And then when I did, what I was doing here is at that last move, when I kahela, hands are going out, flip, right? And then I kaholo, right. Okay, so second verse, we have malihini mako. Everybody say, Malihini Mako. One more time. Malihini Mako. Good. Malihini Mako. Malihini is like a foreigner or like a visitor, somebody who's new to a place. So whenever you come in, you know, you're a Malihini. There's nothing wrong with that. You're like a tourist or maybe you are just moved there or something. But what he's saying here when he's singing this is Malihini Mako. We are us. Mako is all of us. We're tourists. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this with our side koholo. So again, I'm facing the front and I'm just gonna side koholo to the right. 
and to the left and then stop in the front here, okay? And then we're going to Kaholo right and left. So let's do that. Two side Kaholo right left, two regular Kaholo right left. Five, six, seven, go. Right, left, right, top, left, right, left, and right, left, right, and left, right. Left. Okay? So we say Malihini Malkoya Oe. We are visitors to you. Ia Oe. Whenever we say Ia Oe, we're saying like Aloha Bawia Oe. We're saying I love. We're doing something towards you. Or you would say that. You would say the same thing as like I'm going to text you. We would still say Ia Oe. Ia is to kind of do something towards whatever comes after that. In this case, it's oi, which is you. So, manahini ma koya oi. We are visitors here to you. So, we're going to open like we did our, actually, we're gonna come from our shoulder. So, my hand is gonna come here and open all the way around. Stop here, shooting straight out like that. Rise up. Grace down. When I say grace, what I'm doing is my hand is going, my hand is going like this. It's up, and then I grace it down once. If I was like grace four times, I'd go like this, like one, two, three, four. But this is just once. Here, here. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, well, I see your question, Vivian. We'll talk about that at the end of class. Okay, so again, we're opening, coming from the shoulder, right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap. Okay, so my hand came down like this and landed here with the elbow. Again, elbow nice and high, not like this, here. Okay, again, five, six, seven, go. Right, left, right, tap, left, Right, left, tap. And then on this uh, Koholo right and left, my hands are gonna come in and give out, okay? So I'm going here, right, left, right, tap. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, okay. Just to the right, just to the right. Your hands come here and out as you kaholo to the right. Okay, so ia oe i kona, to you in kona, okay? So um, I here, I'm here kaholo right, left, right. And then this is our same thing as the first verse. We're gonna bring the right hand comes out like this. And then both hands are gonna open like this to the left. Okay, this is what whenever I do drills and all that stuff, I call this e kona hands because of this. Because this is what we always do when we say kona in this song. All right, so let's do it again. Ready? Uh, start with your side kolo. Five, six, seven, go. Shoulder right, left, right, top, left, right, left. Give out. Right, left. Right, open, left, right, left. Then from here, we're gonna just do a ha level right and left, sway, hands go in and here. So what my hands are doing here is just, they're out like this and I sway right, left, okay? So if I reverse this and I'm, now I'm gonna mirror you, ready? I'm here. Let's see, so I'm gonna go from my shoulder, five, six, seven, go. Right, left, right, top, up, left, right, left, top, right, left, right, top, left, right, left, ha level, right, and left. Okay, so again, just here out, I pick up and I place. I'm not going like, boom, or anything like that, simple. Here, place here. 
Okay. All right. So now we're at. All right. Let's do it again this way. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. Right, left, right, top, left, right, left, and right, left, right, open, left, right, left, all of our right, left. Okay, now I'm going to kaholo diagonally, 45 degrees this way. So I'm going to turn my body like this. I'm going to turn and go right, left. Right, and then back the other way, straight back. You don't have to turn your body again. Okay? And then I'm going to do two uwehe, okay? Two knee puffs here. I just did my kahulu back. I'm going to step back on my right foot, uwehe. Step back on my left foot, uwehe. So my body is all diagonals through this section. I do my kahulu right and left now i'm turning uehe right left okay and i'm stepping back to do that so i step back with my right foot into a diagonal here i step back with my left foot into a diagonal here all right let's do that one more time five six seven koholo right left right and left right left uehe right left hands here are going to all right so we already know what mako means right Remember, we mean we know it means all of us, right? So kono is an invitation. So we're talking about this invitation that is for all of us, this invitation of aloha. So remember, James Kilopolo wrote this. And again, he visited Kona, and he was so enchanted by how beautiful the town was and how friendly the people were that he wrote the song and then, like, moved there for the rest of his life. So this is what he's experiencing. We're He's saying... We were foreigners here. We were visitors. And you showed us so much aloha. You gave us this invitation of aloha. So we're going to we just finished. Hands came out. We had a right, left. We're going to, from here, your right hand is going to go over your heart, around your left hand. And you're going to flip both hands over to diagonal here. And then you're going to flip again. Both hands come back here over your heart like this, okay? And this is on that kaholo. So you're going, you're going kaholo, right, left, right, flip, left, right, left. And then on your wehe, your first wehe, you're going to put a lay on like this. And then your second wehe, your hands are going to come together like that. Okay, so give it... Try and like, I always like to say when you have like a slow song, but there's like a lot of stuff to do, I always say that you have a lot of work to get done, right? So you got to get the work done, but you have to make it look slow and very smooth and graceful. This is one of those spots where you have kind of a lot of work to get done here, but just try to keep it controlled. Don't let your hands be loose and your arms be loose and fling around just to like get it done. Keep it controlled, but get the work done, okay? All right, so again, let's walk it, starting with your kono, with your invitation, out like this, and then back to your heart, and then we wehe, wehe. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. Roll here, left, right, and back to your heart, left, right, left, wehe, right, left. And then we kaholo, this is our vamp. And that's the end of our verse. We repeat it back to the beginning of this verse. All right, so let's go back to the beginning of this verse and walk it. So we're starting with our side kaholo. Malahini mako, ready? Five, six, seven, from your shoulder. Right, left, right, up, left, right, left. Yeah, oh, yeah, give out. Right, left, right. Mikona open, left, right, 
Left heart level, right, left, koholo from the heart, right, left, right, and left, right, left, uehe, right, left, koholo. Good, do it again, repeat, and malahini mako, here we go, from your shoulder, right, left, right, up, left, right, left, give out, right, left, right, Open for Kona, Hikona, and Ha'aleva, right, left from your heart, Ikekono, and bring it back in to your heart, Uehe, right, left, Kaholo, right, and left. Yes, good. All right, let's do it with music. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Come on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just scrub to a better place to start. Here we go. All right, ready? Here we go. Start with your polo. And right. And Molly, you can walk home from your shoulder. questions, please. You heard 
Yes, Molly, who's Marco? during the lele ohe let's see my arms are going let's see going here and then i'd say when you're turning your hands should be at like your shoulders and then coming together like at the end on the second puff is kind of when they hit um so i'm like here, here. So don't stop the motion, let it go. You're coming from here for over your heart. Let your leg just start there and come straight forward and land here. And it's just for a second. You're just kind of hitting here like this and then here. Okay, does that answer your question? Let's walk that really quick, that spot. We're starting from Ike Kono. So starting from here over your heart, Giving out, bring it back, and then wehe, wehe. Remember this song, the counts are a little bit, they're like, the counts are like eight count, eight count, four count, eight count, eight count, four count. So that might be what's kind of weird, but maybe. So let's go back here, ready? Five, six, seven, koholo. Right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, kaholo, right. So let's count it with that eight count, four count thing. So you can see what I mean in case you realize, oh, that's why, that's why it's something doesn't feel quite right. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Right? So it's actually eight count, eight count, four count, eight count, four count. That's how it is. Okay? Let's just run that second verse one more time, both the, with the repeat, and then let me know if that's if your question if your question hasn't been answered or if I'm not understanding. Um, so I can make sure you get that spot. Oh, good, awesome. Okay, cool. Let's do this one more time. Ready? And couple of right. Left, right, left, left, 
squeeze it. Right, left, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let me know. Let me know any other questions. Um, and of course, just a reminder, as always, you can always please feel free to send me any videos. Um, they will be kept totally private, of course, but I want to make sure you know that I'm here for awesome, awesome. I want to make sure you know that I'm here to give you feedback if you want it. So I'm here for you. Um, and if you have any other questions, let me know. I always like to say, if you have a question, there might be somebody else that has the same question, but sometimes people are shy to ask questions. So if you ask the question, then um, you might be helping somebody else out who doesn't, who, who like feels too nervous to ask. So please don't be afraid to ask me any questions. As you can see by some of the other questions we've had in the Facebook group, I love questions. So it's all good. Uh, yeah, you can send the video to me on private message on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way I would imagine. Um, and yeah, and I think, I think it should go straight to me. There's nobody else is the like admin of that page or anything. So it's just going to go to me. And then again, of course, it's just for me to give you feedback. So yeah. Um, okay. Join the Facebook group. Uh, let me know if you need anything. I'm going to post that Manono um, chant from Mary Monarch. Please watch it. It's going to be so motivating. And I want you to try to keep that in mind this week. Malama ko aloha. Keep your aloha. Keep your love. You know, it's, it can be really hard. I don't know about you guys, but it can be really hard in this day and age when, you know, you have, it's just, you guys know what I mean. I don't need to explain. But it's good to think about that and think about, how extreme the circumstances was, were that she was facing in that moment and to imagine her in battle fighting and saying, Malama koloha, keep your aloha. If she can do it, then we can do it too. And that's gonna, that's the only thing that's gonna make things a little bit better. Okay, so take care of yourself, take care of each other, stay healthy, do all the stuff that you need to do to help uh, support your communities and everything that's going on right now. And um, let me know how I can be there for you. Okay, so thank you everybody. Mahalo Nui for coming to class today. And I will see you uh, next week or I'll see you on the Facebook group. All right, ahui ho.